Are you struggling to work out what scuba course to take next? In this video, I'll show you the four best courses for you to take after your open water certificate that I know will save you time and money for becoming a stronger and safer diver. Okay, let's face it. Right after you learn to dive, your skills will be rough and need refining. And there will be lots of courses presented to you that could waste your time and money. Let's take a look at exactly what you should take next. But first, let me show you something that will remove any resistance you might have jumping into more expensive and time-consuming courses after open water. Because I was there. I took my open water with SSI, but it wasn't until I took this next course that improved my buoyancy and comfort in the water, and I really started to enjoy scuba diving more after I took this. Now I'll be honest, at first I was skeptical. I am often resistant to taking structured courses, and they can often waste your time and money. My wife and I were even considering hanging up our fins due to cost and waning enthusiasm in the sport. But then we met an instructor who could probably teach fish how to swim better. This course was the Advanced Diver Certification with Patty and wasn't just about ticking boxes for skill accomplishments. It's a tailored experience that can reignite your passion for diving like it did mine. The structure is simple. Five dives and you'll practice lots of skills, two of which are mandatory. Deep diving and underwater navigation. These aren't just fancy names, these are skills that you'll utilize when navigating the underwater terrain, which can be very different from what you see above the water. And being able to navigate to and through your dive site and then back to the boat is a vital skill that will bring comfort and safety while you're on your dive. For the other three dives, you'll get to choose a specific specialty that you want to improve on. I highly recommend the night dive. It's like exploring a whole new planet, and really I don't think the full specialty course is worth the time. And so taking a part advanced is a great time to open that door and start feeling comfortable with night diving. I also recommend the peak performance buoyancy dive. If you're like me, buoyancy is really hard to get, especially as a beginner diver. And during this dive, you will have a very advanced instructor alongside of you and giving you professional tips on how to improve your buoyancy. This is just going to be a great platform to enjoying your dives more because I can tell you, buoyancy is critical to everything you're going to do and everything you're going to improve on as a diver. And this experience will just really push you into that right direction. And for the third, pick something like digital underwater photographer. Perhaps, it depends on your preferences, but it will allow you to capture great memories and impress your friends, as well as improve your buoyancy because no great photo is gonna be taken without good buoyancy. But here's the kicker. It's not just about the dives themselves, it's about the personalized instruction. Choosing a bad instructor will ruin your experience, and this probably counts for every single course, but it's more important with advanced because advanced diving is more of like getting a personal instructor or mentorship during your dives and fine tuning everything you learn from open water and making you much more comfortable and much more confident in your skills. The beauty of this course is its focus on mentorship rather than coursework. There are no quizzes or exams to stress over. Instead, you get hands-on experience and tailored guidance. It's like having a personal trainer for your diving skills. For me, at the stage we were at when we got to plow, we would not be comfortable doing night dives, relatively deeper dives, or with our buoyancy in general. And I really want to say I owe taking this advanced course early in our diving history, which made a world of difference to our enjoyment in scuba diving overall. And we've stuck with it since. My personal recommendation is that you take advance as soon as you can, right after open water certification. I know there's usually a few dives that you need to do in between. Get those in and take your advance. Where I hear a lot of flack from, and why some might consider it a waste of time, is in the name. Doing this course won't make you an advanced diver. It really should be called open water level two or open water refinement. If you think of it that way, you'll have a much easier time reconciling what you'll be going through and 
the skill level you should be at when you take this course. In the end, those who will benefit the most out of this class are those who treat it as a way of smoothing out everything from open water and taking it earlier in their diving careers. It will boost your skills, safety, and confidence in the water. And like us, it may vastly improve your enjoyment scuba diving. Okay, let's talk about the next course. While enjoyment is crucial, safety is paramount. But here's the paradox. The course that deals with the most serious aspects of diving is often described as the one that is the most fun. How can learning and handling life-threatening situations be enjoyable? Let me show you why the Rescue Diver course might just be the most transformative experience of your diving journey. Imagine this, you're admiring the vibrant marine life when suddenly you look over and your dive buddy starts panicking or moving all their gear. What has gone wrong with them and what do you do? This isn't just a hypothetical scenario. It's a situation that every diver should be prepared for. I truly believe it's not if, but when things go wrong, will you be ready for it? The longer you've been diving, the more likely you are to experience these emergencies. That's where the Rescue Diver course comes in. And trust me, it's not your average classroom experience. Think of it as an underwater equivalent of learning to be a medic. Someone who's there, and when things go wrong, you're prepared to save someone's life. Possibly someone you care about. The course focuses on emergency management and diver safety, but it's so much more than memorizing procedures. It's about developing a sixth sense for potential problems and honing your skills to handle them like a pro. Now, I won't sugarcoat it. This course is challenging, but like climbing a mountain, the reward of reaching the summit is worth every effort. You'll push your limits, both physically and mentally. You'll learn to recognize diver stress, manage accidents, and assist both responsive and unresponsive divers. It's intense, but it's also incredibly empowered. The skills you learn here aren't just for emergencies though. They're applicable to everyday diving situations. It's like learning defensive driving. You hope you never need it, but you're grateful for the knowledge every time you hit the road. Similarly, the awareness and confidence you gain from the Rescue Diver course will enhance every dive you take. One of the most valuable aspects of the course is the practical training. You'll participate in 10 rescue exercises in open water, which might sound daunting, but it's actually where the fun begins. Your instructor will put together all these different exercise drills. They're simulations that prepare you for real life scenarios. It's like being prepared for an underwater action movie, except you are the hero and the stakes are real. As I've improved as a diver and logged more hours underwater, I've experienced things going wrong more times than I'd like to admit. It's not a matter of if you'll encounter emergency, but when. And Rescue Diver will prepare you to have that confidence to be able to handle those situations. That's why I'm a firm believer that as many people on your dive team as possible should have rescue skills. It's comforting knowing the high caliber and skill and safety everyone on your dive team is prepared for when things go wrong. The beauty of this course is that it doesn't just make you a safer diver, it transforms you into a confident and more aware teammate on a dive team. You'll develop a keener eye for potential issues and the skills to address them calmly and effectively. Now imagine taking that intensity and dialing it up to 11. What if I told you there's a course that will push you to your limits, make you question everything you know about diving, and leave you feeling like you've been through a watery boot camp? When my wife and I first dipped our toes into the diving world, we were content with the warm, welcoming waters of tropical destinations. It was like sticking to the bunny slopes when you're learning to ski, perfectly fine for beginners, but as our experience grew, so did our appetite for adventure. A trip to Iceland loomed on the horizon and suddenly we found ourselves facing the chilly reality of cold water diving. Enter the dry suit diving course. Let me show you why this isn't just another certification to add to your logbook. It's more like learning to drive stick shift after you've mastered automatic, a whole new level of complexity and control. This course was, to put it mildly, a wake up call. And it pushed our limits as divers because dry suit diving is a different beast entirely. Imagine trying to maintain perfect 
balance while wearing a bulky suit that's constantly trying to float you to the surface. Not to mention, those suits are expensive and the last thing you want to do is accidentally blow out the main zipper or seal on the thing, whether it's your suit or a rental. Also, the added weight to counter the suit's buoyancy feels like you're carrying a small child on your back. And that's just the beginning. You've got to manage the air in your suit, which is basically like trying to control a balloon inside your clothing. Too much air and you're rocketing to the surface. Too little and you're sinking like a stone with a really strong squeeze. It's a delicate dance that demands strong trim and constant awareness. But don't get me wrong. This challenge is exactly what makes the course so valuable. It forces you to refine those skills you thought you'd already mastered. And yes, I acknowledge trilaminate doesn't need as much weight, but we certainly did not get certified in trilaminate. By the end of the course, your buoyancy control gets a serious workout. Your gear management skills, they'll improve leaps and bounds. And your understanding of dive theory will deepen as you learn about thermal protection, suit materials, and the science behind staying warm in frigid waters. The course dives deep into the nitty gritty of dry suit diving. You'll learn about different types of suits, from neoprene to trilaminate and all the hybrids. You'll get hands-on experience with various valves and seals. And you'll discover the joys and occasional frustrations of trying to put on a dry suit for the first time. It's a bit like trying to squeeze into a full body wetsuit made of rubber. You'll enjoy it, trust me. One of the most valuable aspects of the course is the personalized instruction. Your instructor will work with you to fine tune your weighting, trim, and air management specific to the dry suit. They'll help you troubleshoot common issues like suit squeeze and teach you how to handle a suit inversion, a situation that can turn you into an unintentionally upside down diver faster than you can say bubble trouble. By the end of the course, even if you never plan to dive water colder than a swimming pool, you'll be a much more well-rounded diver. The skills you learn transfer to all aspects of your diving. Your buoyancy control will be sharper, your situational awareness will be heightened, and your ability to handle unexpected situations will be significantly improved. Cold water diving opens up a whole new world of diving destinations. Imagine exploring the kelp forests of California, diving with orcas in Norway, or marveling the underwater ice formations in Antarctica. These experiences are only possible with a dry suit and the proper skills to handle it. Moreover, if you're considering venturing into technical diving, dry suit skills are a must, as you'll be going into the colder depths of the water. Ultimately, the dry suit diving course is about expanding your comfort zone and pushing your limits as a diver. It's challenging, yes, but it's also incredibly rewarding. It's the diving equivalent of going from a casual jogger to a marathon runner. It requires dedication and effort, but the sense of accomplishment is unparalleled. Just when you thought you mastered the underwater world, along comes a course that turns everything on its head. Imagine training so rigorous, it's like learning to dive all over again, but this time with the precision of a surgeon and the teamwork of a military unit. Let me show you why this course isn't just another certification to add to your collection. It's more like getting what I imagine an advanced diving course really should be. Intense, challenging, and absolutely transformative. Even after years of experience and multiple certifications under my belt, Goo Fundamentals pushed me to my limits. I found myself questioning everything I thought I knew about diving right up until the very end of the course. You can definitely call yourself an advanced diver after passing this one. Goo Fundamentals is designed to refine your basic diving skills and promote a team-oriented approach to diving. It's like going back to the basics but with the volume turned up to the max. The course emphasizes standardized equipment configurations and procedures, which might sound boring, but trust me, it's anything but. It's like learning a new language that allows you to communicate effortlessly with the rest of your dive team, even in the most challenging situations. 
One of the most striking aspects of Goo Fundamentals is its focus on teamwork. It's not just about being a good buddy, it's about becoming an integral part of a well-oiled diving machine. Imagine synchronizing your movements with your team like a group of synchronized swimmers, but underwater and with a lot more gear. This team-oriented approach enhances situational awareness and maximizes your diving enjoyment in ways you never thought possible. The core structure is designed to progressively challenge you, increasing task loading to improve your skills under various conditions. It's like playing a video game where each level gets harder, but instead of extra lives, you have your team to rely on. You'll learn practical skills like gas sharing and emergency management, which are essential for safe diving practices. These aren't just theoretical concepts, you'll be putting them into practice in real-world scenarios. One of the most valuable aspects of Goo Fundamentals is how it addresses gaps in your training from previous courses. This can be humbling, especially for experienced divers, but it's also incredibly enlightening. You'll find yourself having those moments throughout the course, realizing how much room there really is for improvement. The course typically lasts four days and includes at least six dives along with classroom instruction. It's intense and thorough, no doubt about it. Imagine cramming a semester's worth of college material into a long weekend, but the comprehensive nature of the training ensures that you come out the other side with deep understanding of the diving principles that contribute to a much safer and more enjoyable diving culture. Now it's important to say that Goo Fundamentals is challenging. There were moments when I seriously doubt I would pass. Even with the experience and the years of diving behind me, I was struggling with the class. But here's the thing, even if you don't pass, you still walk away with an immense value. It's like training for a marathon. Even if you don't finish the race, you're still in much better shape than when you started. These skills you learn in Goo Fundamentals are applicable to all types of diving, from recreational to technical. The course focuses on essential skills such as buoyancy control, trim, propulsion techniques, and underwater communication. These might sound basic, but trust me, you've never practiced with them in the same level of precision before. What sets Goo Fundamentals apart is the structured and supportive nature. The instructors are not just teachers, they're mentors committed to your growth as a diver. And honestly, some of the most skilled and knowledgeable instructors I've ever met in diving. It's like having a personal trainer who's determined to get you into the best diving shape of your life. They'll push you hard. They'll also be there to catch you when you stumble. Graduating from Goo Fundamentals is considered a significant achievement in the diving world. It's like earning your black belt in martial arts. It signifies a level of skill and dedication that's globally recognized. More than that, it transforms your approach to diving. You'll find yourself more aware, more confident, and more capable in the water. If you're interested in going into technical or cave diving, I'd highly recommend this course first because it will really pound those fundamentals into you. Even if not, you'll be a much better recreational diver. I am still primarily focused on diving recreationally myself and uncertain if I'll get into technical diving, but still, I'm very happy I took this course. Next up, I have a few bonuses for you that didn't quite fit in to the other sections, but there's some other courses that I would like to quickly mention that I think you'll really benefit from. You might think you've reached the pinnacle of diving expertise with the four prior courses, but there's always another summit to conquer. What if I told you there are courses that could extend your bottom time, take you deeper than ever before, and even turn you into an underwater explorer? These aren't just certifications, they're keys to unlocking new realms of the underwater world. And it's worth noting, I'm not going to focus on any particular diving agency to take these from. Choose one of your liking. Focus on finding good instructors, as all agencies will have good and bad ones. First up, let's talk about a course that is about breathing a special mixture that gives you superpowers underwater. Okay, not quite superpowers, but it does allow you to stay underwater longer at certain depths and is safer to breathe within the maximum depth limits. It's like switching from regular fuel to premium fuel in your car. You get a cleaner burn and enhanced performance in certain ranges. 
Plus, many divers report feeling less fatigue after diving. It's a game changer for those long and beautiful reef dives and when you've been trying to squeeze in as much underwater time as possible on a dive trip. This is the Enriched Air Nitrox Certification course, or often just referred to as Nitrox, which will help you learn how to use the gas safely and will open options for your diving. Next on the list is a course that isn't just about going deeper, it's about doing it safely and confidently. Think of it as your passport to your underwater world below 100 feet. Not only does it increase your recreational limits to 40 meters or 130 feet, but it also ensures your diver and health insurance is voided if you venture below 30 meters or 100 feet. You must only dive within the limits of your training and this will give you that extended depth. You'll learn about the effects of increased pressure, proper gas management, and how to handle emergencies at depth. It's an essential stepping stone if you're considering technical diving in the future. This is the Deep Diver Certification course, which will help you learn how to get down to depth, be safe about it, and still not exceed your no limits for recreational diving. Now let's talk about something that might sound straight out of a James Bond movie. A course on cruising the water with the ease of a torpedo, covering vast distances without breaking a sweat. Using a scooter that is like an underwater motorcycle, allowing you to explore more of the reef or wreck in a single dive. But don't be fooled, it requires solid buoyancy control and situational awareness. It's not just about going fast, it's about going far while staying safe. This course is perfect for those who've mastered their basic skills and are looking to expand their underwater horizons. It helps shuttle you to dive sites from shore without a boat, things that would not be possible without it. If you haven't guessed it yet, this is the DPV or Diver Propulsional Vehicle course, which will help you be familiarized with this vehicle and how to use it safely. Last, but certainly not least, is where all your previous skills come together in a complex underwater mission. It's like being part of an elite underwater SWAT team, navigating through tight spaces, managing limited visibility, and piecing together the puzzle of a sunken ship's history. This kind of diving requires a high level of comfort and skill to do safely. You'll learn about wreck anatomy, penetration techniques, and how to use specialized equipment like reels and lights. It's not for the faint of heart, but for those who crave adventure and have a passion for underwater exploration. It's an absolute must. This is the Erect Diver Certification course, and in many different organizations is often broken into several levels as considered one of the end games for scuba divers, putting all your skills to the test. Often you will do technical diver certification with Erect Diving 2 since a lot of boats often run right on the limit of recreational diving to technical. This is ultimately the path I am thinking of going, which is why I am sharing it here after my own research. It is worth noting that there is real danger with wreck diving, and you have to treat it seriously. Go through proper steps to be certified so you can do them safely and confidently, and never try to penetrate a wreck that you see without going through the certification. These specialty courses aren't just about adding more cards to your certification log. They're about expanding your capabilities as a diver and opening up new possibilities for underwater exploration. Each course builds on the skills you've already developed, pushing you to become more aware, more confident, and more capable in the water. Remember that your journey as a diver is a continuous one. Each course you take is like adding a new tool to your underwater toolkit, making you more capable and confident beneath the waves. Of course, taking any of these courses takes some time and planning. So what if I told you that there were some game-changing techniques you can implement immediately on your next dive to improve your air consumption? Check that out here and until next time.